We're from Gulf Island Secondary School. We've been invited by Rod Allen to come and talk with people from the Learning Division at the Ministry of Education. I'm here to talk with the Ministry of Education about uh, the changes that kids are looking for in the education system. In terms of what I'm hoping to get out of today, uh, I would have to say I'm just thoroughly excited to explore the possibilities of the BC education plan and we have a lot of great minds over at the table and I think it's going to be an interesting day. Well thanks for coming everybody. What we have here today is a group of uh, principal, superintendent, teachers and students from Gulf Island Secondary School um, to help us have a conversation about their response to the transformation kinds of things that are going on in the province, the education plan and, and how they're thinking about that and how that's fitting into um, the world of Gulf Island Secondary School. We're, we're um, a group of teachers who uh, think a lot about how to provide an education that is inspiring and uh, will move our kids into the world being interested citizens. Everything I do is so rewarding and the community is it's not different from the school. The school is the community and I find that to say that is such a nice, I feel so proud to say that. Like everybody's not going to be the, this lucky to be where we are, but I think there's a way to sort of take what we've gotten from our community and, and almost formulate it. Like we, it has to be structured, like there needs to be a way to implement the ideas and the, you know, innovation that we have. How you see the, the culture of, of the school in the district maturing over time, um, the kinds of decisions that, that staff has made, teachers have made in sort of in, in, in helping to guide and facilitate that. You know, students are, are not as afraid to, to have an idea about change because that's, what's, that's what we live in constantly on our island. We have a, an obstacle, a problem, um, paper plates in the cafeteria, I don't like that, what can I do to change it? And so I think that it's very passion passion driven. What can other other districts uh, and schools take from your experience and say, well that's interesting, I think we can do that, and not say, well that's only possible in the Gulf Islands. Getting up close and finding out what their passion is and witnessing the sparks fly, mm -hmm. and then supporting those sparks to keep flying. I so, feel so strongly that creative creativity and innovation, we bounce ideas off each other. It's kind of why we're all in this room together today, is groups and and bouncing ideas and creativity and innovation we need to structure things so that we can be all in the same room at the same time we want people to have the open conversations that we have given ourselves permission to have so that they can create what fits their their community and their schools the best i think it was great i think it's so great that um all the different groups were coming together. It wasn't just like the principals and the superintendent. It was the students, the teachers, the principals, the superintendent. To me, that was a powerful morning, uh, hearing the students and, and, and the teachers speaking so clearly and articulately about why they are where they are and what they see next for them uh, was a, a powerful experience that we can all learn from. I'm excited because I feel like being here, I, I feel action. Ah. I feel it. <laughs> it's so big and everyone's like jumping to it and saying I want to be a part of this and um, through all of this and us as an example I think it'll really spread, it'll be the next step.